everybody. My name is Justin Whitehair. I am a one-star double platinum. Um, we're going to work on Tampa Bay, Florida. I've got Courtney as well helping me out as co-host, so I appreciate that absolutely. Um, we're going to go ahead and work on Tampa Bay, Florida today for our um, training for our certificate. So let's go ahead and get started. So again, you're going to go to travelagentacademy.com and you're just going to click on sign up if you've not already done this. You're going to put in your email address, click continue. It's really basic. It's um, very quick to get signed up, doesn't take that long. Once you are signed up, you're going to go ahead and log in. And then we're going to get started with Tampa Bay. I'll give a few minutes, though, for anybody that is um, just now getting um, signed up. I'll give you a few minutes to go ahead and join. This is going to be interactive, so please make sure that you are paying attention. We're all trying to help each other get through this. Um, hopefully, we'll get through this in a give or take about an hour. Um, so, yeah. Once you get logged in, you're going to go ahead and enroll. Looks like there's two chapters to this course. Not sure how long this is going to be, so we'll see. If you can, if everybody is signed up now, go ahead and put in the chat box, you're in, ready to get started. Um, I feel like I'm doing a presentation right now. <laughs> um, that way, at least I know I can go ahead and move on. I just wanna make sure everybody has. Um, Tampa has been on my bucket list, the Philadelphia Phillies at the spring training in Clearwater, which is right next door. Awesome. Brittany and Crystal are in, great. I'm in, but I don't have a chat box option. Okay, no worries. Awesome. So we got three people. Out of and I've been there before. <laughs> All right. Awesome. So you're gonna be able to help us. So you're gonna. So I'm gonna allow, rely on you. So you're gonna know all these answers perfect. You're not gonna miss a single one. This is your, your uh, time to shine. Uh oh. <laughs> wait a minute. It's probably when I was there. It was probably before some of you were born. <laughs> I was there in the eighties. Gotcha. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. So I got oh, about I'm, people. I'm sure it's changed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is anybody having any trouble getting um, signed or getting signed up or getting logged in? Brittany, that's completely fine. Um, that's completely fine on that part. So no worries. Marie, no worries. Just try to get signed in. We'll give a little bit, a few minutes. Um, Morgan, what issues are you having with trying to sign up? What's it giving you as an issue? And the good thing is we will, uh, like I said, this is going to be recorded. It's already recording right now. So I will make sure that um, I get this uploaded to my YouTube channel. And then I usually will send this to Marnie as well. So she can upload it to her YouTube channel because I know she's got a lot of other trainings on there as well. So no rush. Give about maybe three, four more minutes for everybody. Make sure everybody gets signed on and then we'll go ahead and get started. If anybody is missing at that point, um, you can just catch up with us. Um, like I said, this will be uploaded later on. I just don't want to take too much time because I'm not sure how long this is going to take to go through either. Laura, what's the, the long list of options you're getting? Are, is it asking you um, what consortia that you're affiliated with? Is that what you're talking about? I was say, I normally have some music in the background, so it's a little kind of quiet.
what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to plan fam trips for all these destinations that everybody's getting certified in. We're all going to have to go together as a team. I'm, I'm actually really doing a, sorry. Go ahead. I'm actually doing a virtual fam trip to New Zealand right now. Um, it's been, this is the second month of it. And each place we do every week, the more I want to go to that country. <laughs> I don't know if I'll return, but I'm definitely going. Gotcha. Yep. Yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, I'm excited about it. I had somebody reach out to me today about Germany. So, um, so, yeah. and I thought Denmark was pretty cool the other day that we did the training on it too. Everything except for the hot dog and the chocolate milk together. That's, that's <laughs> I'll get both of them. I just want to take both of them at the same time. I'll just walk around so I'll look normal. <laughs> Hey, Morgan, so if, if you can't get in today, um, this will be uploaded to Marnie and my YouTube channel. Um, let me go ahead and um, let me go ahead and get those YouTube channels real quick for you. So you have those if you want to jump off. So anybody that does miss this today, like I said, it's going to be uploaded to both of our YouTube channels. Um, or at least I can say for, for sure for myself, but I know I send it to Marnie as well. So I'm sure that she'll get it uploaded as well. Uh, let's see. One second. All right, this is Marnie's. So I'll put this in the chat box to everybody. And there's other resources on there as well. So feel free to check both of them out. Um, subscribe if you aren't already. Um, that way you have all the information anytime we do anything. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, anybody that's joining, like I said, we'll, we will, this is being recorded, so you can watch it at that point. Let's go ahead and dive in. Um, everybody, if, if we can just kind of take turns or, or kind of get in, engaged like we did the other day, it was really great. Um, so we're going to start with chapter one. So once you log in, once you log into the website, you should see a screen that looks not like that. I mean, should see a screen that looks like this. You're going to click on Get Started under Tampa Bay. If it's not on there right now, if you go to these little icons here, it's the very first one, and just click Get Started. All right, then once we do that, you scroll down and go ahead and enter now. And then we're gonna start with chapter one. So we'll go ahead and get started. So you're going to again go, this is the main page that you're gonna see right here. It should be on the first advertisement. If not, these little dots down here, if you click on the very first one, it will take you to this page. You click on Get Started. And then the next page, you, you click on Get Started as well, and it'll take you to this one. All right. We're going to start with Chapter 1. So start Chapter 1. All right. So does anybody want to, whenever we talk about this, we'll, we'll just take turns reading. So Tampa Bay is family fun and a fabulous nightlife. It's lively and hip, yet relaxed and laid back. It celebrates outdoor life with beautiful perks and endless recreational adventures. It's a um, culturally rich destination with a diverse neighborhoods. It's home to world-class restaurants, popular local eateries, and craft beer breweries. And there's no shortage of attractions for all ages and interests. Something that I've also noticed as well when we're going through this, if you've not done this before, is pull up this information, join with your cell phone so that you can watch this presentation on your cell phone, but then on your laptop, you can actually complete it. So you're not having to go back and forth between screens. That helps some people out. It's up to you though. 
Anybody want to read the next part? Sure, I'll take it. Sure. This course provides the information you need to learn about the experiences and attractions that define Tampa Bay. Whether your clients are looking for a one night pre or post cruise getaway, a way to combine multi-day vacation with a visit to nearby Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay, or a week or more exploring the many facets of this Gulf Coast destination. Awesome. So life around the water, the Tampa Bay area is water wonderland with a year round semi-tropical climate. The Hillsborough River runs through or runs south through downtown Tampa before entering into the bay, creating a dazzling waterfront. Select unique waterfront inspired attractions below to learn more. I will tell everybody that was not on the Denmark training, this is a lot easier to read. So <laughs> I'll make sure that make sure <gasps> Oh, I'll speak oh. a spoon because I can't say some of these words. All right, so please make sure that you're trying to interact because like I said, this is engaging. Uh, we want to make sure we're all going through this. We're all learning this together. Uh, Sean says, I can't unmute and read because I have four little ones that don't care. They need to be quiet. I get that. No worries. Um, anybody else want to read this one? I mean, not everybody speak at once. I'll take it again. All right. Okay. This remarkable geography has shaped the destination's unique history, culture, and culinary and social scenes. Whoop, sorry. For example, Gasparilla season, which takes place over eight weeks from late January through March, celebrates Tampa Bay's Buccaneer heritage with activities such as pirate themed parades, food events, road races, and music, art, and film festivals. The city's coastal location and proximity to Cuba has attracted Cuban and Spanish immigrants and later Italians, Germans, and Eastern Europeans. And many of its attractions, restaurants, bars, and nightlife are found along the river on Tampa Bay's Riverwalk. Awesome. Anybody want to read this slide? It's very short. I'll take it. All right. Tampa, Tampa Bay neighborhoods. Tampa Bay is a kaleidoscope of colorful neighborhoods, each with its own vibe reflected in its people, architecture, attractions, and cuisine. Here you'll learn about downtown Tampa Heights, uh, Jiverter City, Soho, Hyde Park, and Seminole Heights, as well as Tampa River Walk. Awesome, thank you. All right, pop quiz. Wow, already? I know, right? <laughs> Fill in the blank by typing in the correct answer below. Many of Tampa's attractions, restaurants, bars, and nightlights are found along the Hillsborough. What do y'all think? It's the river. Hint, hint. So we're talking about riverfront, I think. No, just river. Oh, see, this, this is what, this is what, this is what, never mind. Look at that. Yay. See, that's where teamwork should have worked if I would have listened in the first place. <laughs> All right. One question for a quiz. Wow. We're doing good, aren't we? If everybody yeah. starts reading, picking up a slob, we'll get through this in no time. So Tampa River Walk, the Tampa River Walk, a 2.6 mile pathway Along the Hillsborough River connects top restaurants such as Yuli and Heights Public Market and its signature attractions like the Tampa Bay History Center and the Florida Aquarium. Select a group of activities to learn more. So we'll talk about walk, bike, or segue to the river walk attractions. Um, so you can walk, bike to places like the Florida Aquarium with interactive programs, educational camps and tens of thousands of fish housed in a wave shaped building and then activities on the water. Um, you can rent a bike, a water bike from Tampa Bay Water Bike Company. Um, you can also do motor boating, rent an electric e-boat to explore the waterfront, paddle boarding, rent a board, take a class or join a group at Urban K Stand Up Paddle Boarding. Or you can also Riding the pirate water taxi, these pirate themed water taxis, which serve downtown the Channel District and Davis Islands, come with whimsical narration and concessions. Those look cute. They do. I agree with that. All right, pop quiz. 
Match the Riverwalk attractions to the left with the description that best fits them. Is a mm. house in a wave-shaped building. That's the aquarium. Yep. Has a dog park among other features. Uh, that's the Water Curtis Hickson Waterfront. Waterfront Park. Here kids can drive a fire truck and tend to stuffed animals at the vet clinic. I'm assuming the children's museum. <laughs> Shimmers at night with shifting colors of Agua Luke is reflecting on its surface. Probably the river. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm assuming the pirate water taxi offers whimsical narration and concessions aboard its vessels. Awesome. Yay. <laughs> All right, next one. Anybody want to read this one? I will. All right. Down, downtown Tampa Heights. Downtown Tampa Heights is Tampa Bay's cultural core. It's where you'll find the Tampa River Walk, where most of the destination's cultural attractions are located, as well as the University of Tampa and the community's central business district. Select an attraction below to learn more. Henry B. Plant Museum at the University of Tampa, which opened as the Tampa Bay Hotel in 1891 and interprets the history and lifestyle of the region and the Gilded Edge. Armature Works, a former trolley barn that houses Heights Public Market, event spaces, co-shared workspace and waterfront work, restaurants and bars. The Hall on Franklin, a dining and entertainment space with seven different restaurants helmed by taste architects plus live music. Oxford Exchange, a community space that includes a bookstore, shared workspace, a cafe, and a daytime restaurant. Awesome. I don't know about y'all. This looks like a school bus to me instead of a pirate ship. I, I thought the same thing. Okay, so it's not just me. It looks like like a duck type vehicle where it goes on water and land, but looks like a school bus to me. All right. Anybody want to read this one? Not me. I can't pronounce it. <laughs> want to say Ebor? I think it's Ebor City. That's what I was thinking. Ebor City, perhaps the most culturally diverse part of Tampa Bay. Ybor City was built by the cigar industry in the 1880s and is home to immigrants from around the world. It's known for its 7th Avenue boutiques and Cuban and Latina uh, American restaurants or Latin American restaurants. A key feature in Ybor City, chickens roaming freely throughout the community. After dark, the area comes alive with nightlife ranging, for, ranging from LGBTQ nightclubs to live music and event venues. By day, you can visit attractions such as Ibu City Museum State Park, which focuses on um, Ibor City culture, heritage, and history, including cigar industry with several restored cigar workers. Casitas. Casitas, thank you. Um, you can also do Jose Martina Park, owned by the Cuban government, a tribute to Jose Martina the 1890s writer and revolutionary who inspired supporters of the Cuban War of Independence. You can also do Tech, Teco, historic streetcar, which offers free rides through, throughout downtown Tampa, the Channel District, and Ybor City. Tabanero cigars and other shops on 7th Avenue where you can watch Cuban Titians roll cigars as they have since 1885. Anybody want to read this one? Uh, can you hear me? Yes. All right, I'll take it. Awesome. Dining in Ybor City. Don't miss out on Ybor City's legendary eateries, 
coffee shops, and breweries. Here are a few standouts. Let's start with Columbia Restaurant. Columbia Restaurant, family owned since 1905, is the oldest restaurant in Florida and serves award-winning Spanish Cuban cuisine. It also boasts an internationally acclaimed wine list plus flamenco performances nightly. Mm -hmm. La Segunda Central Bakery. La Segunda Central Bakery has made fresh Cuban bread from traditional recipes since 1915 and also makes popular guava pastries. Yum. All right. uh, Copper Tail Brewing Company. Copper Tail Brewing Company, a short ride from 7th Avenue, has a tasting room, 20 brews on tap, and a menu of casual fare. Excellent. Uh, anybody want to do this one? I'll keep going. Okay, awesome. Right. Nightlife. When the sun goes down, the night heats up in Ybor City. Among its eclectic mix of night spots, select the honey pot. The Honey Pot, an LGBTQ club with dancing, DJs, and drag shows. Tampa Improv Comedy Theater and Restaurant. Featuring live stand-up. Guest Bar's Grotto, a pirate-themed hangout offering Latin cuisine and live entertainment. And the Ritz Ibor, a concert venue that hosts national concert tours. Cool. And we're on a quiz. Uh, create a list of some of Ybor City's many attractions by dragging the correct letters from the letter bank to complete these words. I will say this is probably one of the most interactive quizzes I've ever seen. It's cute. Yeah. Uh, say cigar? Uh, yes. <laughs> All right. Any other one? Chicken. I know nightlife. Chickens. Chickens, right? Yep. Streetcar. Mm -hmm. Flamenco. Mm -hmm. Casitas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cuban food. Nightlife. Awesome. All right, everybody get this? Let me finish dragging my letters. <laughs> This is actually not too bad. I actually enjoy some of the, the quizzes compared to the other ones. I like how it kind of keeps you on your toes if you don't know exactly what quiz is going to come up next and how they're going to make you do it. Okay, I'm done. All right. Yay. <laughs> All right, anybody want to do this one? Soho Hyde Park, the historic Soho South Howard Avenue Hyde Park neighborhood has some of the of Tampa's finest, Tampa Bay's finest homes, best restaurants, and liveliest bars. Select a topic, so we're going to do things to do. Among the things to do in the park, you can take a leisure walk or bike ride on Bayshore Boulevard, a five-mile long linear park, the world's longest unbroken sidewalk along the bay for people watching and stunning bay views. Or you can do a shop at Hyde Park Village, an outdoor mall with international brands and local boutiques, plus restaurants, a Sunday's farmer's market and scene bistro where fine dining meets first run and independent films. Donnie, you have Burn Steakhouse offering prime steaks, locally grown produce, a vast James Beard Foundation, honored wine collection, and internationally famous dessert room since 1956. That is my place to go. Yes. <laughs> Fresh <laughs> kitchen where you can build your own bowl with hormone um, free grilled meats and roasted vegetables. Haven for small pl plates created by James Beard Award nominee chef ava recipient of four stars from the tampa bay's times for its latin um, in italian classics prepared in a simple and rustic fashion also at armature works in tampa bay heights or tampa heights nightlife and for the nightlife the hyde park cafe 
one of Tampa's premier nightlife destinations, features three different venues in one club. It's kind of cool. Anybody want to read this one? I'll go ahead and read it. All right. Seminole Heights is known for its restored craftsman style bungalows, eclectic shops and eateries, unique bar scene and bohemian vibe with art Artista, art, artist, I'm sorry, and musicians among the locals. It's also home of three of Tampa Bay's numerous breweries and plenty of restaurants serving local brews. Collect a topic below to learn more. Things to do. There's lots to do in Seminole Heights, including uh, Sunday morning market, a farmer's market with more than 60 vendors selling fresh produce, plants, herbs, baked goods, take home foods, and hand handy crafts. Zoo Tampa at Lowry Park in immersive experience that features a safari tram, a manatee habitat, and an ivory what is that ivory and rides among other amenities? The dining and nightlife scene is Seminole Heights. In Seminole Heights is worth staying for after dark with venues like Roosters and The Till, rated the city's top uh, restaurant by the Tampa Bay Times for its modern American cuisine sourced from local farms and gardens. Brewbus Brewing with 20 in-house beers, a tasting room, a casual eatery with a full bar, and bus tours of other craft breweries. A nightlife is hopping with venues such as Nebraska Mini Mart, where patrons can dine on a casual menu and play shuffleboard and boshi ball on uh, uh, independent bar and cafe with live uh, music and craft beer. Awesome, thank you. Mm -hmm. You might want to read the last one on this one? Uh, sure, I'll take it. Sure. And I apologize for saying water. I am from Philadelphia. We have a very distinct <laughs> pronunciation of it. Uh, waterfront dining. The confluence of, Hill, of the Hillsborough River and the Bay create creates a great opportunities for a table by the water. In addition to some of the restaurants already mentioned in this chapter, here are more choices for waterfront dining. Select a uh, selection, select a topic below to learn more. Tampa River Walk, including downtown. So here you have Columbia Cafe at the Tampa Bay History Center, sister to Columbia Ybor City, a Cuban restaurant that has been family owned for five generations. The Sail Pavilion and Big Ray's Fish Camp at Tampa Convention Center, an open air bar serving fresh seafood and traditional Cuban sandwiches, among other specialties. River's Edge at the Sheridan Tampa Downtown, offering ocean inspired dishes and views through floor to ceiling windows. And WXYZ Bar at Aloft Tampa Downtown with a snack attack menu and sports playing on the TV screens. Tampa River Walk, including downtown. Milo's Prime Steakhouse serving prime beef and fresh seafood for more than 35 years. River Walk Cafe at Tampa Museum of Art featuring local products and menu items that highlight the museum's current um, exhibits and selling alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages to go. So you can stroll on the River Walk as you and, and be. And Bob. And Bob. Um, Mastros at the Star Center for the Performing Arts, a pre-show fine dining experience. You... I think it's Ulele. Ulele. Renowned for its local um, native inspiring foods cooked on a barbecue grill plus an on-site brewery. Anybody else? I'll take it. All right. Garrison Channel, the Channel District. American social, an upscale bar and kitchen featuring contemporary American fare. Sparkman Moore, 
a local favorite featuring an open air dining garden with a variety of fare, a beer garden, games like billiards and ping pong, live music and special events and retail coming soon. Blue Harbor Eatery and Bar. The Western, oh, the Western Tampa Waterside signature restaurant with an American menu using locally sourced ingredients. Jackson's Bistro Bar and Sushi on Harbor Island, serving steak, seafood, and other American fare, plus sushi. Awesome. Cry Baby Cafe, offering casual, fresh food in a rustic, pet-friendly environment. Waterview Grill, specializing in fresh Florida seafood. Cafe Dufresne, a family-owned American bistro offering seasonal cuisine. Yacht Starship, an award-winning dining yacht. Great. You want to cover this one? I can try. Okay. The Palm River one, right? Yep. Oh, I picked the one with the very difficult pronunciations. Okay. Um, <laughs> Palm River, that's easy. Uh, yep. What, what Mongkol, do you know what that is? Yep. A Thai Buddhist temple, which hosts a weekly Sunday market that includes Thai specialties. Awesome. Let's step it to short one. At least you picked the short one. It might have been the hardest one, but it was at least the first <laughs> one. Anybody else want to do this one? I'll take I it. Think, go ahead. Or if someone else wants to, that's fine. Well, mine was short, so I better, and I came in late, but I'm caught up now. So. Okay, go um, ahead. Thanks for the answers, guys. Um, Old Tampa Bay, oyster catchers serving fresh local seafood, and Armani's, a northern Italian restaurant with a rooftop patio, both part of the Grand Hyatt Tampa Bay. Aqua, a stylish restaurant at the Westin Tampa Bay with an open kitchen and a water-encased walk-in wine cellar. Mm, I like that. Bahama Breeze, with a Caribbean-inspired menu, a laid-back vibe, and live music. Whiskey Joe's Bar and Grill, a casual eatery on the sand, featuring outside dining and a tiki bar. Rustic Pelican, serving fresh local seafood with a Caribbean flair. Last one. Okay, I'll take this. Okay. Uh, South Shore Apollo Beach. Circles Waterfront Restaurant, popular spot for locals using fresh ingredients, and the Sunset Grill at Little Harbor, featuring upscale casual fare and live music nightly. And here's the moment of truth. <laughs> All right, Gasparilla season runs from January through March and celebrates what? The Buccaneer heritage. Heritage, I think. That's what I would agree as well. Everybody, okay. All these attractions can be found along the Tampa River Walk, except <laughs> the Florida Aquarium. Florida Aquarium. And uh, I thought I thought the aquarium was on the River Walk. The aquarium is on the River Walk. I thought I it was never the mind. Maybe the performing arts center, because that wouldn't really necessarily be on the river. Yeah, I, I, it's either the Museum of Art or the Center for Performing Arts. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to go with this one. Everybody agree? Which one? The uh, Center for Performing Arts. Is that what we're the going with? Yeah, the day um, day. Moment of truth. Wait. Yeah. <sighs> Yay, it worked. Did I miss it? We'll see if uh, very the Center of Performing Arts. The Center of Performing Arts is somewhere down on the river, but I don't think it faces the river because um, I went there. I live there. Okay. We went there for a hur hurricane, <laughs> me and my dad. Uh, but it is somewhere down there, so I don't know. Gotcha. You wanna <clears throat> Whoops. Well, we might have to retake this whole thing. No, it was right. <laughs> All right. Anybody know this one? We could always, we could always cheat and Google it. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is being recorded. I didn't mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We, 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 we cheat all the time with Marnie. <laughs> that was my twin sister. I kicked her out. <laughs> all right. What about this one? Did you say Columbia Restaurant? Yes. Yes. All right. 
The Teco Historic Streetcar, which runs through downtown Tampa, the Channel District, and Ybor City offers free rides. True. Okay. How do they make their money? <laughs> What it's a tourist food, area, really? Okay. That, that is true. It probably gets it from the tourism board. What types okay. of food and drink can be found throughout the Tampa Bay area? Cuban. I'm gonna all of the all, all of the above. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Yep. Tampa, I'm so hungry now. And when they add the word and thirsty. Tampa, yeah. It, it makes you look <laughs> like they're trying to advertise. Does the Cuban government own any property in Tampa Bay? Yes. Yes. It's the um Jose, Jose Marti, Marti Park. Park. Yeah, that would make sense. The culturally diverse Ybor City rose to economic prominence in the late 1800s as cigar manufacturing center. Yep. Yeah, everything's about cigars. <laughs> Known for its crafting style, bungalows, Simone Heights is also home to all but. Uh, ah, so one of these two. The zoo, or the I think it's Apollo Beach. Isn't Apollo Beach near, um, in, uh, where is the? I think you're right. So I'm going to go with it. Nassau. Apollo Beach is near there on the other Reset. side. Okay. I agree. All right. So High Park is a historic neighborhood with such restaurants as? All the above. Yeah. Yeah. All the okay. following can be said of Tampa Bay stuff. Sub zero temperatures. I <laughs> <laughs> to give you one. Oh, no. We only got a 90%. <laughs> oh, we missed something. Oh, okay. yeah. We missed it was that, um... that performing arts. Oh, we passed. Yeah, as long as we pass this all. Oh, it was the cigar one that was oh. on the river walk. Tabanero yeah. cigars. Uh, that's in Ybor City. Okay. See, I just thought cigars were everywhere. So. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I would. We kept yeah. reading the word cigar over and over. Okay. So what did we win, Johnny? <laughs> <laughs> so it was only chapter one. All right. Yeah, so that was you done with that. Do y'all want to go ahead and I didn't think it took that long. Do you want to go ahead and do chapter two and be done with it today? Yay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Let's do it. Let's get through this. Everybody take a page or whatever. We'll try to get through it quicker. And then we're going to pass with hundred percent this time without. Cheating. Okay. So how do I continue though? It's not letting me continue. You close out of it and then it should. Yeah. Open. That'll be safe. Close out of what? It says review chapter review exam. Close, so that close out of that window or that tab. Mm -hmm. yeah, I have to log back in again. Um, didn't really do that, but I have to redo. It's making me log back in now. I hope it saved my answers. Does it save answers or no? It, it, it should. One for it me. should. Because if you look, it shows it, it shows green. Huh. Yeah, when you log back in, it okay, I'm continuing. Bay. Yeah, okay, Cont okay. continue learning path. So we did that one, and now we're going chapter two, get started or start yep. chapter. Okay, I'm here. Ready. Anybody want to start? Sure, I'll start. Sure. Okay, planning a stay. Now that you're familiar with Tampa Bay in general and its diverse neighborhoods and dining scene, let's take a deeper look into the other features that make it a great vacation destination. To that end, this chapter focuses on Tampa Bay's accommodations, events you can plan around, things to do within an hour's drive, and itineraries and activities for families, couples, and groups of friends and LGBTQ visitors. You might want to do this one? I'll do it. Accommodations, looking for a historic hotel for your clients, a family-friendly resort. A fa family-friendly resort. Tampa Bay has all of these types of accommodations and more. Here are just a few examples. Historic hotels, La, La Meriden, Tampa, in century old former federal courthouse downtown. Hotel Haya, new property, 
with historic ambiance opening in Ybor City, spring of 2020. High end and or lifestyle or boutique hotels, Epicurean Hotel, Autograph Collection, Hyde Park, Hotel Alba, Tapestry Collection by Hilton, West Shore District, Seminole Hard Rock Co Hotel and Casino, Tampa, Seminole Heights, The Waterfront, Current Hotel, Autograph Collection, Northwest Tampa, Renaissance Tampa, International Plaza Hotel, Northwest Tampa. Resort hotels, ideal for families. Sailport Waterfront Suites, Rocky Point Island, Saddlebrook Resort and Spa, North Tampa, Sheraton Tampa Riverwalk Hotel, downtown, Hilton Tampa, downtown. Home, two suites by Hilton Tampa, downtown Channel District. LBGTQ friendly properties with 19 tag approved hotels and counting, Tampa Bay welcomes LGBTQ travelers. No pop quiz so far. Don't jinx us. <laughs> <laughs> Easy day trips within an hour's drive from Tampa Bay are myriad of possibilities for day trips from beaches to bush gardens. Select a topic to learn more, so we're gonna go beaches. Just 30 minute away from are the beaches of St. Peter Clearwater, 12 inches all, um, including some of the world's top rated, such as um, Clearwater Beach, where visitors can relax on the white sand and swim in calm waters. You also have Fort DeSoto Park on a berry, um, barrier island, boast a wide beach, two fishing piers, a historic fort, and paved trails for cyclists and inclined skaters. South of Tampa Bay are the beaches of Anna Marie Island with Ode Florida charm and seven miles of white sandy beaches and Sarasota with six barrier islands along its coastline. I love white beaches, so that sounds like fun. Mm, Hillsborough. Minutes from downtown Tampa, Hillsborough River State Park features a slew of outdoor activities like picnicking, swimming, fishing, nature, trails, hiking, boating and canoeing, plus a historical fort, Bush Gardens, yep. Tampa Bay. Among the world's top theme parks, Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay offers animal attractions and miles of thrill rides inspired by exotic explorations around the world. And they have Crystal River located on Florida's natural coast. The city of Crystal River is home to a national wildlife refuge where visitors can swim with manatees, embark on eco-tours, and go boating, diving, swimming, and fishing. Hmm, this is good so far. You didn't, okay. Anybody want to read this one? Um, I'll do it. Okay. <clears throat> events Tampa Bay celebrates year-round with events focusing on everything from food to history and art and music. You notice they never mentioned the vicious crocodiles, alligators, and cat five <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, Gasparilla season, the eight week celebration of Tampa Bay's Buccaneer heritage, Gasparilla season takes place from late January through early March with pirates, parades, fireworks, foods, events, and other festivities, including children's Gasparilla extravaganza, Gasparilla Pirate Fest with boat flotilla and the Parade of Pirates, uh, St. Iago Night Parade in Ybor City, Gasparilla Distance Class Classic, encompassing everything from stroller walk to a half marathon. Gasparilla season, Gasparilla Festi Festival of the Arts, Gasparilla Music Festival, Gasparilla International Film Festival. Food Festival. What better way to sample Tampa Bay's local flavors from authentic Cuban sandwiches to craft beers than at one of its food festivals? Here are a few of those delectable events. Annual Taste of South Tampa in March. Annual Cuban Sandwich Festival in March, I'm there. Annual, Fest, annual Festa Italiana, April. Burns Wine Fest, April. LGBTQ events, art, food, music, parades, Tampa Bay's LGBTQ events are a fabulous way to celebrate pride. Among them, Mr. and Ms. Tampa Pride, February. Tampa Pride Parade, March. Tampa Pride 
Music and Arts Festival March, St. Pete's Pride Weekend June, craft beer events. Uh, Tampa Bay is a beer lover's haven with lots of craft breweries serving up local brews and craft beer events that celebrate the area's flavors and cultures. Here are just a few of them. Tampa Bay Beer Week, March. Bolts Brew Fest, August. Halfway There Festival of Beer, August. Sands and Suds Beer Festival, August. Oktoberfest, Tampa, October. Brews and Bites, first Friday of every month. Music festivals, music festivals. Tampa Bay's music festival showcase showcases its eclectic music scene throughout the year. Among them, Gasparilla Music Festival, March. Sunset Musical Festival, May. Viva Tampa Bay Hispanic Heritage Festival, that's a mouthful, October, and Conga Caliente, November. Awesome. There we go. Oh, now we get the blues. <laughs> Match the type of celebration to the item or event most frequently associated with it. So, LGBTQ. What would you That's say? Mr. and Ms. Mr. and Ms. Mm -hmm. Tampa Pride, yeah. Oktoberfest, would you say beer? I yep. would say beer. International Cuban Sandwich Festival? I'm going to say Cuban Sandwich. Cuban sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> the Music Festival? Conga, Conga Caliente. Caliente. Nope. And Gasparilla Season Pirate Parade of Pirates. Awesome. Everybody get That's that? Right. Yes. Yay. Yeah. Yay. Itineraries. Go ahead, somebody. Okay, I'll take it. I got to go get a beer after. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Itineraries. With a variety of activities and attractions, it's easy to build an itinerary in a Tampa Bay for any type of traveler. From visitors taking weekend uh, week-long vacations to cruise passengers on pre- or post-cruise stays. First, learn about transportation options by clicking on the yellow box in the bottom left corner. Okay. Before we get into specific itinerary suggestions, here are some helpful tips to make planning a Tampa Bay vacation easy. Tampa Bay City Pass provides discounted admission to five attractions and even line skipping privileges at some of them. Take advantage of Tampa Bay transportation options. Tampa International Airport offers nonstop flights to and from more than 60 domestic and 10 international markets. Another option is St. Pete Clearwater International Airport. In town, transportation options include pirate water taxi, pirate themed boats on the Hillsborough River, Teco historic streetcar, free vintage streetcar, Tampa Bay water bike company, water bike rentals on the river, downtowner, a free on demand rides via a mobile app, coast bike share, bike rentals via mobile app, river walk boating company, two person power boat rentals. E-Boats Tampa, rentals of electric boats that accommodate up to 12 people. Heart, which is the city bus system. And in addition, Tampa Bay offers rideshare services, limos, taxis, car rentals, charter buses, airport and hotel shuttle services, and electric scooters. Cool. Okay, anyone else? I'll go ahead. Four families here are a few suggested one day itineraries for families. There's also an online pirate's guide itinerary narrated by a famous buccaneer who gives suggestions in pirate talk. Select an itinerary to the, uh, to the right to learn more. Children's Museum and Waterworks Park. Bring bathing suits. Spend the morning at Glacier Children's Museum. Take the pirate water taxi from Curtis Hickson Waterfront Park to Waterworks Park for a picnic or have lunch at a nearby Heights public market, followed by an afternoon at the park's playground and sp splash pad. Have dinner at Uncle or Ulel Restaurant and Brewery. Afterward, stroll along the Tampa Riverwalk as the city lights twinkle to life. Zoo and water biking. Begin the day at Zoo Tampa at Lowry, Lowry Park. Have lunch at the Zoo's Macaws Landing Cafe or Joe's Diner. Cycle down the river on a white water bike or if in 
indoor activity is preferred, go to iFly Tampa, an indoor skydiving attraction, and fly a cushion on a cushion of air, ages three and up. That sounds like fun. Mm-hmm. Have dinner at uh, game time in Ybor City with more than 120 arcade games, simulators, and other amusements. Take an evening ride on the Teco Historic Streetcar. Anybody else? Go ahead, Courtney. Oh. <laughs> Where's Courtney? It's Melissa. Oh. I was gonna say, I was like, did I say something? Yeah. <laughs> for a couple of, for a couple of groups of friends. Says, after a restful night at one of Tampa Bay's many hotels, including the high-end lifestyle boutique properties covered in the accommodation section of this chapter, these visitors can mix and match the following activities depending on their interests. Arts and culture. Often regarded as the top urban area for cultural diversity by the U.S. Census Bureau, Tampa Bay boasts a rich and varied visual and performing arts scene, as well as museums that chronicle the area's history. Art museums include the University of South Florida Contemporary Art Museum, the Tampa Museum of Art, and the Florida Museum of Photographic Art. Outside are colorful public murals located throughout Tampa Bay. Performing arts venues include the David A. Straz Junior Center for the Performing Arts, or the Straz Center, the Schimberg Playhouse, part of the Straz Center, presenting often daring politically and socially relevant plays, the Columbia Restaurant's Flamenco Show, Stageworks Theater, another home of socially relevant plays, and the Tampa Theater, a historic movie palace where comedy shows, films, and special events take place. To help navigate the area's plethora of performing arts options, Theater Tampa Bay promotes and provides information on the area's theaters and performances. For a look back into the destination's history, there's the Tampa Bay History Center, and the Henry B. Plant Museum. Recreational adventures along the boardwalk. Tampa River Walk provides a plethora of possibilities for those who seek a more active vacation, including paddleboarding, kayaking, water biking, or operating an e-boat along Tampa Bay's waterways, and diving and swimming with sea life at the Florida Aquarium. Food and drink, tours and tastings. For a taste of Tampa Bay's culinary heritage, tours and tastings are the way to go. Food tours, such as historic Ybor City food tours and Tampa Bay food tours, take visitors on three-hour walking excursions with samples from up to seven local dining and drinking establishments. Dozens of craft breweries, such as Cigar City Brewing and Coppertail Brewing Company, both in Ybor City, and Angry Chair Brewing in Seminole Heights offer tastings and tours. Breakfast and lunch are available at places as diverse as Goody Goody, a retro style diner in Hyde Park Village, Bizu, Bijou, Bizo, Brasserie, Brasserie, oh, that's a new one, serving French inspired, <laughs> thank you, serving mm. French inspired cuisine at Le Meridian Tampa. Oxford Exchange, an 1891 building that houses a restaurant serving fresh seasonal fare, and La Segunda Central Bakery in Ybor City and South Tampa, which has been operating since 1915. Romantic dinner options include Columbia Restaurant in Ybor City, featuring flamenco shows, hot cuisine at Maison Place in High Park, prime steaks and fresh seafood at Council Oak Steaks and Seafood, at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. Outdoor dining with skyline views at Jackson's Bistro and Bar and Sushi on Harbor Island. The waterfront Sunset Grill at Little Harbor Resort. And fine food and wine at Burns Steakhouse. Nightlife sizzles in Tampa Bay. Besides nightclubs, there's comedy at the Improv, Latin Fair and live music at the pirate themed Gaspar's Grotto and live concerts at the Ritz Ebor, for example. There we go. Awesome. LGBTQ interest, having received a perfect score on the municipal 
Equality Index for Human Rights Commission, Tampa Bay is LGBTQ friendly with a vibrant LGBTQ community. In 2019, Visit Tampa Bay launched Visit Tampa Bay Gay or Tampa Gay, a comprehensive guide for LGBTQ visitors. Mm -hmm. Among the highlights, LGBTQ friendly businesses include nearly 20 and counting tag approved hotels. The Tampa Bay areas have has hosted LGBTQ conferences for groups such as International Gay and Lesbian Travel Association and the National Gay and Lesbian Chamber of Commerce. Tampa Bay is home to many LGBTQ events listed in special events section of this chapter, including the annual Pride Parade in March. The Star Center offers concerts, talks, and other productions celebrating LGBT. Q culture. Anybody want to read this one? I can. Okay. L LGBT LGBTQ in Ybor City. Ybor City is an LGBTQ hub with many welcoming welcoming bars, restaurants, and retail outlets. Select a topic to the right to learn more. Bars include the Honey Pot, Bradley's on Seventh and your picture's in the way, here we go, <laughs> on my mobile phone. Um, Bradley's on 7th, Southern Nights, Tampa, and Reservoir Bar. Eateries include the Bricks and Treus Am Amici at the Bunker. Live music venues include Crowbar, the Ritz Ybor, and the Euphorium. So what about the cruises? I'll take it. Okay. Cruise passengers. Cruise passengers arriving at and departing from Port Tampa Bay, home to Carnival Cruise Lines, Holland America Line, Norwegian Cruise Lines, Royal Caribbean, and coming fall 2020, MSC and Celebrity Cruises have plenty to see and do. Port Tampa is close to Tampa Riverwalk, Curtis Hickson Waterfront Park, Ybor City, Amelie Arena, Armature Works, and Heights Public Market. In addition, many hotels like Hotel Albo Tampa, the Weston Tampa Waterside, the Sheridan Tampa Riverwalk Hotel, and the Holiday Inn Express and Suites Tampa East Ybor City offer packages for cruises, cruisers, typically including parking and free transportation to Port Tampa Bay. All right. That's the tra transportation option to the description that best represents it. So a- Pirate taxi. Yep. Okay. Um, offers free transit connecting downtown and that's, channel side. That's the streetcar. Yeah. Free on-demand rides via the mobile app. Just to make sure. No, um, but bike share is the bike rental, um, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's by yeah, that's true. Okay, so free demand. The, city, the city's bus system is the downtowner, right? So mm -hmm. Hart would have to be. No, I think the city bus system is Hart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The so, city bus is Hart. Okay, then the downtowner would have to be the free on-demand rides via mobile app. Yes. So do we agree? And yeah. we are correct. Awesome. Spoiler alert. Travelers with disabilities. The last one before the big exam. Anybody mm -hmm. want to read this one? Um, I can. Okay. For travelers with disabilities, Tampa Bay is brimming with possibilities for travelers with disabilities. From dedicated operational hours and nightly mobile downtown core and recreational spaces, Tampa Bay is committed to providing memorable and accessible experiences for all travelers with special needs. Select a topic, adventure seekers, Discover Tampa Bay's natural beauty along the paved boardwalk or dare to learn what it feels like to skydive. Feel what it's like to skydive with iFly, which offers exclusive operational hours and is dedicated to ins dedicated instructors to visitors with disabilities. Lettuce Lake Park, known for its spacious boardwalk, is the perfect place to escape to nature and find your zen. I don't know if anybody's ever done the I fly stuff, but I've always considered that because I can never jump out of a plane, but I've always yeah. that tunnel and just be lifted off. I thought that would be kind of cool, but <laughs> family travelers. 
Do Make I keep it a going? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> no, no, no. I didn't. Go ahead. Make it a family affair and explore in um, endangered species from both uh, um, island, land and sea. Hop aboard a water taxi or visit an inclusive learning laboratory. The Florida Aquarium Zoo Tampa at Lowry Park at Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay offer ADA accessibility, companion style restrooms and dedicated parking for visitors with special needs. Explore downtown's attractions and restaurants by water with Pirate Water Taxi, which offers easily accessible ramps on all vessels. Glazer uh, Children's Museum located right off the Tampa River Walk is autism and sensory friendly and offer accessible museum entrances, elevators and parking. Arts and culture. Large paved pathways allow visitors to get around with ease on two to six mile Tampa River Walk, which fills or connects Tampa Bay's most popular attractions, restaurants, and cultural centers, like Gems on a String. Explore classical, modern, and contemporary art at the expansive ADA compliant Tampa Museum of Art. Get a front row seat in at the Star Center for the Performing Arts and enjoy touring Broadway shows and concerts. Marvel at Best Waterfront Sunsets at Yuli's Patio Dining or the Rooftop Bar at Amateur Works, Armature Works. Awesome. A moment of truth. What type of accommodations can be found in the Tampa Bay area? All the above. Yep. Which event is not part of Gasparol's festivals? Horse. I'm a horse, horse. horse race? I don't remember them saying anything about horse race. Yeah, it's the horse race. Yeah. Which attractions can be found within about an hour's drive from Tampa Bay? All of the above. Which attraction is home to a historic fort? <laughs> um, historic fort. Was it the River State Park? I think it was the River State Park. Yeah, I think it was the River State Park. Okay. I it can is, Google it. It's fine, I've already went on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll take a chance. And it's yeah. the paddle boarding, kayaking, water biking, or operating an e-boat along Tampa Bay's waterways. Vis visitors can also what? Dive and swim. None of the above. I don't think you could dive no, I, I, the aquarium, I, could you? No, I, you can. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. I know a lot of aquariums have that. Okay. So I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure it's that. I'm pretty sure they can take you in there. Okay, awesome. You can blame me if it's wrong. Okay, we'll oh, it. we will. <laughs> <laughs> what do we sign up? In addition to offering a host of venues for enjoying food, music, nightlife, and the visual and performing arts, Tampa Bay is often noted for its colorful outdoor murals. Public murals. That's what I would say. Yeah. Port Tampa Bay welcomes cruise ships and many of the surrounding hotels offer packages with free yes. parking. True. Agreed. Yep. Last one. Mm -hmm. Which statement is true about the Tampa Bay area? The U.S. Census Bureau has noted that it is a top urban area for cultural diversity. It yep. has received a perfect score. I would say both. Yeah. Yep. Let's see how we did. 100%. <laughs> Woo! Awesome. Yay! So you I want can't to frame that. wrong now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now we have to go to the dashboard actually um melissa you mentioned alligator something else and something else i don't know For me i think so yeah but anyway i know you were joking <laughs> <laughs> but alligators are in the swampy areas i don't think they're in Tampa bay <laughs> yeah but there are saltwater crocodiles on that side so i mean oh, crocodile girl. alligator and tomato tomato oh i didn't know that yeah. Awesome. Everybody should have got the certificate now. Is that correct? Everybody knows uh, where to get that. 
It's making me continue still. Hmm. So you're going to go back to, once you're done with that, you're going to go back to your dashboard and it should show up with your course, your certifications there. I refreshed. Let me see. So I had to exit that one screen. And then if you go up, it should show up certificates and you just click on certificates. Oh, back to dashboard. Got it. Yep. It'd be nice if someone could fake a signature in that second line. Yeah. Let's see. And where do we, we find it in the dashboard? Yep. And then under certificates, certifications. Hmm. I don't see it yet. Let me see. Completed. Hmm. I've been having a glitch, a glitchy day with this uh, particular. I got mine. What was it? Mine's there. It may take a second to upload just because a lot of us did go through it at the same time, but I don't know. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording. I'll stay on for just a little bit. Um, thank you all for joining. Congratulations, everybody, for completing Visit Tampa Bay Specialist Program um, and learning all about what Tampa Bay has to offer. Um, there is going to be future certification trainings, I believe, every single Wednesday and Friday. Marnie should be back to doing those starting next week, so make sure that you jump on for that. Also follow Marnie and our YouTubes for updates and continuing training and, and different things like that. There's a lot of great content and we're gonna try to keep um, promoting stuff and putting stuff on there. So thank you all. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording.